Today was a historic day for ISRO. There was yet another PSLV mission called the C-45 that launched successfully. This was one of the first missions where we inserted satellites into multiple orbits. There were satellites injected into three different orbits. This required two separate burns of the fourth stage. Today's mission was also unique uh, in that it was the longest mission that the PSLV has had. It took over three hours uh, to complete. The primary payload that was launched was a military spy satellite. It's an electronic eye in the sky, so to say. And uh, we also had uh, the PSLV itself, uh, its fourth stage being inserted into orbit to function as a platform for uh, future space experiments. So I have some questions here um, for uh, about this topic. Um, so one was, uh, why did we launch only CubeSats? So it's not that we chose to launch just CubeSats. Now CubeSats are becoming increasingly popular and what's happening is that because the structure and size of CubeSats is standardized, more people are choosing to go for it. And of course, it's also more popular among students and people who want to you know, demo certain technologies and things like that. How a CubeSat is structured is that each CubeSat consists of cubes called units and one unit is 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter by 10 centimeters so we have different cubesats that are multiple units sort of stacked together so we have a one unit cubesat which is the very basic and then we have two units we have three units and so on so it was uh, because it's easier for cubesats to um, sort of be launched in a rocket and you know it doesn't require advanced planning for personalized fitting of payload a lot of people just choose to go with uh, CubeSats. That's that's basically what happened today. Another question is, uh, what were the guest satellites that went up? So apart from the main primary payload, which is the MESAT, which we'll get to later, we had 28 international customer satellites that went up. The main customer was the American company called Planet Labs. So Planet Labs sent up 20 payloads today. And all 20 of them were, of course, CubeSats, and these were all three unit CubeSats. Planet Labs provides a military service to America, so a lot of the images, uh, a lot of the satellites that were sent up were imaging satellites, and uh, these are called doves. So, Planet Labs so far, I think, has launched over 300 of these doves uh, that are in orbit currently. and. They have the ability where multiple satellites can image the same area over a period of a day. So it basically gives updates in real time. And then we had another American company called Spire Global that launched satellites called Lemur 2s. And uh, we had a Lithuanian company that launched two satellites and then a Swiss company that launched one and a Spanish company also that launched one satellite. Were the three extra payloads also military? So um, there were three other payloads apart from the 28 guest satellites as well as the primary MESAT. These were not customer satellites as such. These are satellites that are attached to the fourth stage of the rocket. So what happens is typically after all of the launches, after all the insertion is done, the fourth stage is discarded. But today, what we did is uh, we equipped the fourth stage with solar arrays and antenna, which is, which is not usual. The fourth stage usually operates on batteries. And what we did is we moved the fourth stage into an orbit and attached to this fourth stage is um, three different satellites. So these are satellites from IST, the Indian Institute of uh, Space Technology that's based out of Hyderabad. And then there was one satellite that was from ISRO itself. And then there was a third uh, satellite which was launched by the amateur uh, ham radio community in India. Uh, this is a satellite that will provide radio services and enable uh, communication between amateur radio operators in India. Um, can I give a lowdown of everything that was launched today? Yes, so there is the primary satellite which is the MESAT which was our biggest payload and this was the one that uh, inserted into orbit first. It weighs just about uh, 436 kilograms 
and then we have the 28 guest satellites which were injected later into orbit and then after that there was the PS4, the fourth stage which along with the three attached payload injected into its orbit and the entire duration of mission took just a little over three hours to complete. What do we know about the MESAT? So the MESAT is an electronics intelligence satellite and what that means is that it is developed for defense purposes and we really don't know much about it. Uh, typically what these electronic spy satellites do, it, it is a spy satellite, it was developed by DRDO under a project called Project Kautilya um, in conjunction with ISRO. It costed a little over 400 crores and it's, it's actually been in the making for about 8 years now. Um, and typically what these kind of satellites do is that they can intercept radio transmissions and they can also identify the source and location of such a transmitter. And this is pretty much all ISRO has chosen to tell us in the sense we know that the device is an electromagnetic spectrum instrument and that is all they've told us. So we can only guess um, what its capabilities are and right now we can only say that it can monitor radio, radar and probably microwave signals and that's, that's about all we know at this point. Uh, it's a pretty big payload and that was the one that was injected first, like I said. Um, do you think Modi gets an edge on the election? Well, I mean, probably with the ASAT, that is something, um, uh, given the timing of the announcement and the test itself that was conducted, that was probably um, meant to also give a little bit of a political edge. But I doubt we could say that about this mission, considering how many uh, years of research has gone into uh, developing the MESAT first of all and also that uh, the mission was planned much ahead in fact it was supposed to be launched on the 21st of March and I believe it was originally scheduled for a couple of years earlier so it's uh, I doubt that this has anything to do with giving Modi an edge at this point um, I, I think that's about it. If, uh, if you have any further questions, please feel free to tweet to me. I'm at Sandy Grains. You can also tweet to The Print at The Print India. Thank you.